is metal the devil's music? Because when you think of Satan, you think flames, you think fire, you think of a big red guy with big yeah. horns. He, he's not going to be playing your banjo, is he? He's going to be playing a big distorted guitar for about 50 Marshall stacks. Metal is, is not Christian. It's anti-Christian. Well, I was kind of brought up on a steady diet of Zeppelin, Sabbath, ACDC, from my uh, from my dad. Um, you know that is an effect when you're growing up. You know, it uh, it stays with you. But it wasn't until I was about fourteen that I um, first experienced the metal. Your thrash metal, your napalm deaths, and you would very rarely see someone else wearing a napalm death T-shirt. But when you did, it was like it's instantly your mate, and that was really cool. It's like a little select club. At the time, it was, it was genius. The more offensive the T-shirt, the more that get your parents upset, the better. And that was exactly what it was like. It's only later on that it kind of become a bit of a. When I kept on listening to the music, but wasn't admitting it. That was the time when it kind of, you know, was saying I'd like to hide. So, at what point in time, sir, did your devotion to this music become a problem? When metal became became cool, that's when I started to become ashamed. It must be awful, I would imagine I can see you having to slip Kerrang inside a porno mag when you when you buy it from the news agents just to get it home. Yeah, that or the Daily Telegraph, of course. Mm -hmm. Do you have to wear any kind of camouflage or anything to go to a metal gig these days? If someone sees me walking in, I can just say it's some kind of mistake. Right. Um, and once I'm inside, I can take, you know, your, your jumper off or your other T-shirt off, and then underneath your... You've got the the metal armor, which is your T-shirt. I wear band T-shirts every day, but I wear jumpers over the top. There are certain terms that must be like secret or magical words that you would use. There is the sign, the sign of the horn, the sign of the horn. What what else are the was the, is forms the lingua franca of a, a secret and dedicated metalhead? Or the hair. You got to have the hair long. It's uh, occasionally you can have very very short. It's no really in between about it. It's long, or it's a shaven head. What else? What 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 else were the uh, essential? Uh, parts about being a fan, the hair, the t-shirts. Well, it, that's, it's, it's, it's all about the church. And where do you go to worship? You go to worship at the gig. Going to the gigs and being able to say, yeah, I saw, I saw them five years ago. I think the thing about the metal gig, it's, it's not just about a bunch of guys on stage playing fast, aggressive music. You've got to have the visuals the lights, stage props, and uh, I, I would be upset if I walked away from a heavy metal gig without bruises and the odd cut from the big spiked wristbands in from the mosh pit. Is there any camaraderie going on in amongst the moshing? There's mosh rules. If someone falls, you pick them up. It's... It's mosh rules. It's... That's only one rule. Is there another one? Not really. Where do girls fit into this scenario? I don't think there's any place for girls in metal. I think you can rank it up there with parking, parallel parking and metal. The girls have no place. Is there a metal drug? Well, do you know what? If you were to talk about it, I mean, because you kind of got your stoner rock dope. You kind of got your punk thrash speed. You kind of got your hair metal coke. You kind of got your psychedelia, obviously LSD and 
and obviously heroin and grunge. If there was to be your sort of ultimate metal drug, I'd say it'd be a big loud guitar. If Napalm Death announced that they were going to do an unplugged, what would your reaction be? It's it's almost like them words don't exist in the same sentence. That that that's it's an impossibility. There's the 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 heavy metal uh, the heavy metal rule book where does this have more than one rule? Yes, usually uh, keyboards and and acoustic guitars and ballads. It's um. Once you uh, overstep the mark and you use these, then you're you're pushed out of the metal circle. What other? Obviously, the Scorpions have uh, uh, been excommunicated under that banner, as have Extreme. Are there any other bands that have uh, really uh, crossed the uh, unwritten rules? Well, the 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 written rules. I'm thinking about. People could argue, argue that Metallica have by working with an orchestra. You know, Metallica working with an orchestra is uh, it's just not on. You don't work with violins and orchestras. That's trying to develop. Metal is not really about developing. Metal is all about just staying primal, staying true. Once you begin to use other things and other instruments and keyboards and acoustic guitars, you're not metal anymore. You're a rock band and it's almost... It's unforgivable. So... These bands that consider themselves not metal, mm -hmm. are they metal? Is Led Zeppelin metal? Uh, Zeppelin, Zeppelin are a great contributor towards metal. And I would say they were the missing link between your rock, your, your rock and roll, your heavy blues. They are the missing link between that and metal. Where did metal start? The Sabbath. Without a doubt. And as, as metal grew, it absorbed biker culture off the back of Priest, and that begat us Motorhead. Is that a correct lineage? Well, Motorhead are the sort of um, metal punk hybrid. I've got problems with Motorhead. ACDC? ACDC are metal in everything but, but sound. Because you've you've got the attitude, right. and you've got the spirit, and you've got the look. They just look. The word that comes to me is hard rock, which is just there, just below metal. Who are the carriers of the torch today of true metal? A fantastic scene throughout Europe, which is thriving and rarely penetrates the UK, rarely pr penetrates America. But they don't care. They're just doing their thing. They sell enough records in Germany. And I'd say it's also one of the few places where women play a part in metal because there's plenty of female-fronted metal bands and they're fantastic. Of the old school, you've got the Priest Reunion, which is incredibly encouraging. You have your UK bands from the extremes of Cradle of Filth right. to your Funeral for Friends. And your Iron Maiden, of course. So there is the torch is still burning, and many would say it's stronger than it's ever been. And you know, I'd like to be, I'd like to think that too. You can take one album with you. It's uh, Number of the Beast, Iron Maiden. It just has everything. It has uh, the riffs, the drums, the lyrics, the passion, the energy. It's easily one of the Best heavy metal records ever made. I just want an air guitar, an air drum, and sometimes pick up a hairbrush and sing along. It's just metal through and through.